Hey everybody, Real Estate Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. Got a great story out of CNBC, wanna share it with you. And as everything is crumbling down, you see everybody making either excuses or defending their position. So here we go. This is entitled Blackstone Chief Defends defends real estate fund amid rush for withdrawals. It says right here, some key points. Blackstone has taken heat over the past week for limiting withdrawals, drawers, draws, draws, from its $9 billion private REIT, which stands for Real Estate Investment Trust. President and Chief Operating Officer John Gray defended the positioning and structure, noting that investors knew Breit had limits on redemptions. You know, it sounds funny, Breit, B-R-E-I-T, just makes it sound like Brexit. Like everybody's running for the exits. It's time to get out. Real estate's crashing. These pension funds do not wanna lose their pensioners' money and they're trying to get out. But Blackstone's like, oh, hold on, hold on. We're just not gonna let you take your money. This is why it is so vitally important as everything is crashing to be ready for this crash. And one of those ways is to not count on your pension. You know, it's a good thing, it's exciting to have, but if you think about it, it's just a massive Ponzi scheme. You're putting money into something and the company's putting money into something on your behalf that needs to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger because not only are more and more people retiring, right? But inflation, causes those prices to go up so it, it puts even more of a demand on it. So I, a long time ago, pretended like my pension wasn't even there. So I had to save, learn to pay off debt, get to a position where I'm completely out of debt when I wanna retire so that I can retire. All right, let's dive into the story. It says, Blackstone has taken heat over the past week for limiting withdrawals from its $69 billion private REIT. The Blackstone Real Estate Investment Trust, BREIT, the Brexit of real estate, that move uh, followed redemption requests that exceeded previously set limits. The company's stock has fallen 8% over the past five days amid a controversy that included Barclays' downgrade of the alternative investment firm. Blackstone President and Chief Operating Officer John Gray defended his position uh, and structure, noting that investors knew Breit had limitations on redemptions. He says, we set up the product with limitations on liquidity, Gray told CNBC's uh, David Farber during a live interview. We described it as semi-liquid, semi-liquid, because we, <laughs> is it liquid? It's like, uh, it's a little liquid. Well, like how liquid? Like semi-liquid? Like, 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 like water liquid? Nah, like, uh, you know, liquid when it's mixed with something and you pour it out and it's like, what, it takes like a long time? Yeah, like that. <laughs> you know, it's semi-liquid, just... You know, if everything's crashing, you can pull out a little bit, just a pinch. Just a, it's like that guy with the steaks, you know, with the salt. Like, is this how you do it? Just salt the steak. It says, in exchange for their patience, investors have been benefited. How, <laughs> hold on. It's hard not to laugh when you read these stories. In exchange for their patience, investors have benefited from the fund that Gray said has delivered 13% compounded returns for six years in a challenging environment. Challenging? What kind of, you run a real estate investment trust. Oh, it's been very challenging. You mean it's only going up? Like for the last few years, real estate has literally just rocket ship. Oh yes, but you'd have no idea. Those rocket ships pull G's and it's very difficult. Please, please feel sorry for me. Very difficult environment. Very difficult. Yeah, no, no, like, well, I'm going to be honest with you. What's really difficult is you're having a hard time getting yields. And hopefully you aren't backing those, um, those loans that you went and bought all those homes with, with the REIT with adjustable rate mortgages. That's gonna be interesting. Now it says publicly traded REITs have gotten slammed this year amid a rising interest rate environment that has hit real estate, the real estate market especially hard, raising questions about the actual values of holdings and private funds such as Blackstone's REITs. The $35 billion Vanguard real estate ETF, for example, has tumbled 26% year to date. Look, here's the point. I, I want people to understand, regardless of if rates go up or go down in this environment, it's still gonna be a very challenging real estate market. And the reason why is because uh, Perception has changed, right? The public perception of real estate always goes up has just been smashed. I know it sounds crazy because this just happened in 2008, but it's happening again. It's gonna happen worse. Why? Because interest rates have gone up, mortgage rates, on a percentage basis in comparison to what they did prior to the 2008 Great Recession, much higher. 
on a percentage basis, all right? But not only that, now you have the fear gauge, the fear index of the banks. You see, as mortgage rates come down, they're not gonna be so excited to just give you those mortgages on homes that are falling in value because of perceived value, right, from the public, news stories, things like that. So what they're gonna do is, yeah, your mortgage might come down, but they're gonna tighten uh, lending standards. And on top of that, they're gonna do things like add fees because they wanna make sure that they get as much money during closing as possible so that in the likelihood, and I mean likelihood, that you have to default on your mortgage or most customers have to default, right? Not you, you're part of Ninja Nation. You're prepared, not scared. Uh, you're paying off debt. But a lot of people that go out of their way to get over leveraged in the house they should never have had, they need to make sure that when by the time they grab that house and resell it, that they minimize their losses. And that's the most important thing you need to realize, okay? So no matter what happens in this environment right now, it's going to still be challenging for home buyers, all right? So that's exciting. We wanna be prepared for that. How do you get prepared? Get out of debt, you save up money, you start to work on your credit score. You wanna walk into a bank and just look like beams of light are shining around you going, I'm here, I'll take over all the foreclosures. And then, oh wait, wait, I'm not actually gonna put money down. I'll show you that money in the bank and I got an amazing, uh, not only an amazing smile, if I had an editor right now, I'd be like, Ding. but also I got an amazing credit score. And so that is what you wanna to do to prepare for this because this is gonna be absolutely crazy. Look guys, I'm gonna link this story below. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and hopefully you guys have an amazing day. With that being said, the economic ninja, ugh, not me. I'm the real estate ninja. I'm out. See you guys.